Welcome to our Lombok trip video. After the quarantine in Jakarta, my husband and I went to the airport to fly to Lombok. We still have one hour to go before check-in, so we are now eating my most favorite noodle dish from Bakmi GM. Not sponsored by the way. I would literally die for this meal. There's just something about the texture of the noodles and flavor that get me that I could never find anywhere in the United States. The flight from Jakarta to Lombok is going to take 2 hours and we're going with Garuda Indonesia Airline. We paid around $70 for the flight for the both of us. Hello everyone! So right now, we're going to Lombok. Uh, from Jakarta after five days and four nights of our quarantine um, We're going to another place. Um, it's like a little island next to Bali uh, I'm actually excited. I Honestly, I'm exhausted because I just finished work at 6 30 a.m Right now, it's almost 11 a.m. And I also still have work at 12 a.m. Tonight, so let's see how that goes um, I'm exhausted, but I'm also excited. In this two hours flight, they actually gave us a whole meal for us to eat. Obviously, I'm already full from Bakmi GM that I just had at the airport, so my husband is going to finish my meal. And here we are in Lombok. I read that the weather is actually the worst during this time of the year. It will rain the whole week but we're willing to take our chances. I do believe that this is my first time in Lombok. I don't remember if I ever visit when I was a child, I was a little bit shook by how green everything is. There are a lot of villages and less big buildings. My husband and I are staying at the Sheraton Resort in Sengigi area. This area is actually close to the famous Gili Island. My first impression of the resort is that my husband got treated much better than me right away. Some of the staff would talk to him and explain things to him without looking at me like I don't exist. Maybe because he's white and I'm Indonesian? It might be the long last effect of colonialism. Anyway, other than that, the resort is beautiful and filled with greenery like we're one with nature. When we go outside, we can hear the many exotic birds chirping and the sounds of the waves is so relaxing.
after exploring the room, I have to go to sleep right away as I have to work that night at 11 p.m. After work is done, we go to breakfast and I'm impressed with the extensive choice of food. The staffs are friendly and helpful. The food is needless to say very Indonesian, which I love the most and this is what I came for anyway. 10 out of 10, I recommend you to get the breakfast package in Sheraton. I took a nap for a bit before I explored the resort and decided to get a massage while my husband is exploring the ocean. It is very much needed reflexology after the long flight and work every day. That day, we also check out the Epicentrum Mall, and we also take my husband to a barber to get a haircut and a beard cut. It took one hour to get there as it is located in the center of the city. back to the resort, we eat at one of the restaurants in the resort. The staffs, I gotta say, are exceptionally nice and they treat me equal like they treat my husband. The food and drinks are heavenly and of course rich in spices. Hello everyone, this is 
the last day that I'm gonna be working full time and we're ordering some McDonald's chicken and rice if you can see that we're ordering some McDonald's chicken and rice so basically McDonald's have like chicken and rice in Indonesia and if you can see this extra spicy one for me and just a little bit tiny bowl of rice and it's delicious the next day at breakfast surprisingly the menu of the breakfast changes every day so I will not get the same menu as I did yesterday although fruits and other mini desserts are still the same Today we decided to go to Sade village. It is about one hour and a half away from our resort. In the language of the Sasak tribe in Lombok, West Nusa Tenggara, Sade means medicine or consciousness. The first time we set foot in Sade village, we are immediately greeted by a local guide which will assist the visitors in getting all the information they need while roaming around and enjoying the cultural beauty of the village. The culture of Sasak tribe inside the village has blended well with Islamic teachings. In order to preserve the authenticity of the residents, Sade village implements the one family wedding custom, which means that Sade people cannot marry a person outside their tribe. There are around 150 traditional houses in Sade village. These houses have unique roofs which are shaped like mountains and are built with reed grass. The walls and floors are made of clay mixed with rice bran then covered with woven bamboo on the outer sides. The buildings of these houses have the title Bale Tani Gunung Ratu, which means that they are shaped like a mountain with a flat base. One other thing that is unique about the culture of Sade village is its tradition of eloping or kawin lari. If a man wants to propose to a woman to be his wife, he must kidnap the girl and hide her from their family. The duration of the kidnapping and hiding could not be determined. It could be days or even months until at a time that was deemed appropriate. A messenger from the man's side will visit the woman's family to inform her location and discuss the proposal and marriage plans after a consensus is reached by both parties. That honestly doesn't sound so good to me. I prefer my husband's way of engagement instead, on his knee with a ring. That's it. Their main income is from Paddy Rice Field selling tenon fabric which is a traditional weaving fabric and tourism so when the pandemic happened it hit them super hard economically they asked if i want to try how to make tenon fabric and told me afterwards that i should buy their tenon for a million rupiah or 70 dollar usd which we do not have at the time so i got something for 20 dollar
inside a village, the floor of the house is covered with buffalo or cow dung every now and then. The goal is to keep the floor clean of dust attached, strengthen the floor, and to prevent insects from entering the house. After the Sade village, we were gonna go to another place but there was a crazy storm so we decided to go back to our resort instead. The next day, yet another day starting with appetizing food. My husband and I decided to stay in the resort and just to enjoy the facilities that the resort has to offer. My husband on the other hand is busy trying out his drone videos which I included in these videos as well. He prefers to swim in the ocean than the pool. Hello everyone. Hello everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Who's everyone? <laughs> this everyone situation. on my YouTube channel, yeah. Oh, okay. Later on, we're going to souvenir shop to look for souvenirs to take home. And now we're having lunch of super delicious and fresh Lombok seafood for $30. Mm -hmm. I gotta say that this is the life. They're gonna come back and say, is everything okay? From the voice of like, mm, mm. they already know, yeah? Yeah. yeah. 
Good morning everyone So tomorrow is our last day in this hotel in Lombok and um, Today we're gonna go to the Gili Island um, after breakfast and Yeah, we'll see if my GoPro is gonna work under <laughs> water <laughs> My husband is laughing at me because it's silly to vlog but yeah, anyway, um I'll talk to you guys later We are now on our way to the Gili Island which is about one hour away from our resort We rented a nearby boat for $70 that is going to take us to some of the most beautiful snorkeling spots in Indonesia I can tell right away that the water around the Gili Island is so clear and beautiful. I did not bring a waterproof case so these videos are from my GoPro in a Ziploc bag. It's really not the best and the videos really don't do it justice but they actually look so magical and beautiful. The Gili Island are a group of three tiny islands, Gili Trawangan, Gili Meno, and Gili Air in Indonesia, near the coast of Northwest Lombok Island. Characterized by sandy beaches fringed with palm trees, they are known for their coral reefs just offshore. On the smallest island of Gili Meno, sea turtles swim at Turtle Point. At Gili Trawangan, the largest island, a sunken ship sits at Wreck Point near Mantigi Beach. It's so hot here. And um, my boat is going away. It seems like, holy shit. I'm kind of scared. I won't be able to go back to the boat. But yeah, my husband is way over there with a tour guide and trying to go, go back to the shore to walk all the way here um, he can swim and I couldn't so and I'm already exhausted from floating around with a life jacket but yeah, it's been fun At this point, I'm exhausted and I got stung by a bunch of jellyfishes so I wait on the boat while my husband explores the ocean with the guide Today is our last day in Lombok and my husband is obviously sunburned from all the ocean swimming yesterday. This trip has been so fun and relaxing. We were really just going with the flow as we didn't plan anything at all beforehand. It is actually a start of a really nice vacation.
Before we leave the island, we need to get rapid test as it is one of the requirements before we board the boat. Hello everyone! <laughs> This is our last day in Lombok and today we're gonna go to Bali Me and my husband are in the harbor to go to Bali Honestly, I got food poisoning so food are starting to come out from the bottom of my hand and the top of my hand <laughs> So yeah, I don't know why I mean like I'm from this country but still I guess I haven't been here in three years Right yeah? What do you think about this trip so far? Bagus. <laughs> if you like this video, please click that like button and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.